By now we've all seen the Call of Duty Season 2 community update. Infinity Ward is trying to save their dying game so let's dissect their Warzone 2 strategy and find out if they have the talent to execute a recovery. Starting with Game Dev 101 technicals that shouldn't have been a problem to begin with, the crack team at Infinity and Raven are continuing to work on the UI, audio, and crashes. 3,000 devs, 3 years, multiple millions. Globally, a lot of audio-related hiccups, vehicle sounds disappearing, effects not relaying distance properly, are getting fixed. Apparently, it's all a problem with occlusion. Please be sure to check Windows and in-game audio settings are set correctly in accordance with your listening environment. I've never had to fool around with my Windows audio to get a game sound to work properly in 2023, but it's nice to know we're part of the Call of Duty QA team. Who knows if this one falls under audio, UI, bug, or all, but they're likely fixing the voice chat permanent name, glitch. It sucks having an orgy of red and white spam on screen for your entire session. And while we're on audio, it's not in the notes but hopefully, we'll be able to mute individual squad members again, sacrificing comms because one guy can't get his threshold on point as killer. Now we get to the changes that are gonna save Warzone 2. First up, the gulag is being reverted to what works. Fast, intense, and high reward. That means one versus one, no jailer, more weapons, and more cash for your redeploy. And speaking of cash, they're tweaking the economy of Almazra. It boils down to more stuff sooner, which falls in line with the overall strategy of speeding up the gameplay loop. I've already noticed a significant reduction in camping after the last patch and these cash changes should do more to get us to that Warzone 1 feeling. Staying on the economy for a second, they're giving us another loadout drop on the fifth circle. This gives us another chance to get the bird's eye perk. I know the consensus is that it's broken and OP, but honestly it makes up for the lack of UAVs. I wouldn't be surprised if Raven doesn't completely fix the perk, they might have stumbled onto some gold. Currently, Bird's Eye is a great compromise between the UAV spam full send streamer strat of Warzone 1, and the one UAV per buy station attempt to save casuals in Warzone 2. Bird's Eye lets us get random bursts of location information and that brings much needed pacing changes where Warzone 2 can feel like an extremely flat, baby's first shooter bore fest. A quick nod to making looting less complicated. Infinity Ward is getting rid of medium and large backpacks and making all loot float. It was a pain to constantly enter menus, especially with the low TTK of this game. Speaking of TTK, the two upcoming changes that are gonna have the biggest impact on gameplay are tweaks to the armor systems. Infinity Ward is ditching the have and have not vest system and just giving everyone three armor slots from the start. We'll have to find and plate the third but at least this evens the damage modeling across the entire match. To further combat the low TTK, in the next patch we'll finally be able to move faster while plating. They're not giving us full sprint speed, but the increased movement speed while plating is gonna go a long way in creating better back and forth gunfights. This is a great start, but if Infinity Ward isn't gonna tweak health and armor values in the future, I want to see them either speed up plating animation or allow us to plate while short jumping. For anyone who says that's unrealistic, they already allow us to plate underwater. All in all, Warzone 2 is heading in the right direction, focusing on fixing the one-note, brain-dead gunfights, speeding up the gameplay loop, and removing unnecessary luck bait. The COD community has spoken and shaken Activision to their core which is why we're seeing these reversions to the Warzone 1 formula. I can't wait to see the player base numbers two months after season two. If we're not satisfied, we know they'll flinch again. What do you guys think? Is this the plan that's gonna save Warzone 2? Drop your thoughts in the comment section, don't forget to give the vid a like and subscribe to the channel, and as always, stay cool, gentlemen.